Hey besties, bonus, bonus episode of advice from your besties. So I'm Dr. Lindsay Regeer. And I'm Chelsea Toronto. And we're going to answer the rest of your questions that aren't stupid. Wait, so, you know what? Yesterday what? I was checking in for one of our services yeah. <laughs> that we get. <laughs> and, she, and, I, and she's like, yes, can I get your name? I'm like, yes, I'm Chelsea Toronto. And she's like, wow, <laughs> holy cow, that is a name, huh? I was like, yeah, I say it quite a bit, as a matter of fact. And she's like, are you a broadcaster? I was like, no, but I am a podcaster. <laughs> I love it when you break out like, I'm Chelsea Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it just happened. Anytime now I say my name. It just goes like, <laughs> I've been practicing for the last two years for about 200 episodes. I know. I should practice mine a little bit more. Why? I am who I am. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> question one. What's your go-to workout when you really don't feel like working out? Ooh, arm day. <laughs> or or Pilates because you're laying down the whole time. 100% Pilates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, easy. Although that's what I would do, but if I'm not in a Pilates era, I don't really think of walking as working out. Oh, I think that's a workout. If it is, then that's what I do. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. And then if it's like, oh, which hard workout will you do? Like I would go to like a fusion class. Oh, okay. At core power. Core power. Yeah. Actually, yeah, those are all very solid answers. Okay, good, great. Then okay. I do that. Um, how soon is too soon to start putting together your Halloween costume? Um, any day of the year is too early to put together a Halloween costume because Halloween's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's stupid today. <laughs> Fucking hate it. We made you dress yeah. like Barbie, but we hate you today. We're hate you, Barbie. I, yeah, I will dress up like a Barbie any day. Like, it doesn't need to be Halloween because I'm... I'm just Dr. Barbie. <laughs> I'm Dr. Barbie. I'm bitter 40-something-year-old Barbie. Yeah. Everyone has seen my bra before I pulled this up. Is that good? No, only from that angle. No, I pulled it up. It was literally, like, <laughs> down here. Well, you know what? It's a flesh tone bra. It is. It's fine. Um. So, yeah, I think if you are a Halloween person, I don't know how into Halloween you are, because some people plan it out, like, months ahead of time. It's August right now. I think that's too early. Maybe September. Yeah. Honestly, October 31st. I think that's a good time to start planning. But in outfit. today's culture, if you're excited about something, you start like... Start months ahead of time? Months ahead of time. Right? It's yeah. going to be... It will be Christmas. Let's let's put a bet out. When do you think we're going to start celebrating Christmas? Oh. September um, 15th? September. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. so, and Halloween, it, it does not... is not a commercialized thing entirely. Oh, I well, think it, is. it is, but it's not like Christmas where it revolves around giving presents and spending money. Yeah. There's certainly, there's money added to the costume experience in order to make it. But like, I think culture expresses their excitement by doing stuff months ahead. Mm -hmm. And because this is just a, like an artistic, it's another, it's, it's like self-expression day. Sorry. Like, what the fuck are you looking at? I'm like, we're over here. <laughs> well, you know, when I start really getting off on tangent, I look, I get this guy. Okay, sorry. So, um, so I think it's self-expression and it's, a, now it's not about Halloween anymore. Yeah. And I we think... call it Halloween, but it's self-expression because how many people do you think are going like Barbie? Oh, a hundred thousand. How many people Everyone. are going like, um, Lilo and Stitch? So like Pixar that's a vibe there's also like star wars vibe it's just how do you identify at this point like who's your club mm, okay who are your people so it's like dress your people day whatever that may be like oh okay yeah if i ever i'm still do, not into it <laughs> i'm still not into it i'll if anyone tells me i have to dress up this year i'll be a barbie we are we are doing it right now i know and it's like I'm august ready. i know okay if you ran for president, what would your big promise be to the people? I wouldn't. Oof. That's a job no one wants. It's literally the worst There's job in the world. There's something wrong with you if you do. <laughs> yeah. Like, because why? honestly, when you're president, you're not even actually in power. You're just the talking head. Yeah. And you have to deal with pleasing everyone else that's like in your cabinet. I don't even like think you're people. pleasing them. I think no, you're, you're, you're just... You're kind of catering to them. Like, you're not actually really in charge. Yeah. Let's say, what if you were working for one of the biggest lobbyist firms in the nation? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what would a big promise to the people be? I don't know. Uh, free dog sitting for all. 
<laughs> That's nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with that. <laughs> um, yeah, because I think that's a good positive thing that everyone could do. Free puppies. Free puppies for everyone. Money for everyone to, to take care of the puppies. Free dog food. Oh, yeah. Free dog food for life. Yeah. Or like, yeah. Yeah. That's a good one, too. Together, we're, we're a, bit, a great President lobbyist. of the dogs. <laughs> a great lobbyist team. <laughs> Uh, okay, what's your favorite crumble cookie? Oh, well, it depends on what flavors are out for the week. But last week, when I had a crumble cookie, I had... Do you have one once a week? Not usually, but if I'm working at a different clinic, um, It's your pick-me-up on the way home. Yes, yeah, so my pick-me-up on the way home. I'm like, I fucking deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty basic, though, with a cookie. I just, like... There's like a wedding cake cookie, so I don't know, a sugar cookie with like raspberry cream cheese frosting on top. That's pretty good. Any kind of like sugar cookie variation. Yeah, pretty basic. I've never had one. You should have one. Well, when are you gonna take me for my first time? Um, whenever you take me to get a tattoo with you next time. Oh, oh shit. Oh. No. <laughs> Oh my god, we didn't even talk about that. I know. The There's so many things you didn't let me talk about. Oh my god. Motherfuck, here's the thing. <laughs> she makes me feel so goddamn bad that I'm so dependent and that I don't look at maps and I'm not helpful and I'm un I'm not I can't help myself. I'm useless. What are the words? <laughs> Like I can't, I can't take care of myself. I can't fend for myself. I can't do internet searches. I can't fucking like make a decision. Do you see it? Like, like I'm helpless. Like I'm a potato. <laughs> My best friend's a potato. <laughs> so I'm a fucking potato, useless. I'm entertaining. But other than that, like I'm only good for like maybe picking you up. Maybe it's going to be entertaining. Yeah, I'm down to ride with you wherever and get Starbucks. <laughs> That's the extent of my range. <laughs> Occasionally I'll show up for something, but on average, that's it. This person took the fucking initiative as it relates to a tattoo because she'd been hyping me up for the like, when are you gonna get it? When are you gonna get it? And I was like, I'm getting when I'm ready. <laughs> I drew the tattoo myself because I needed something mm -hmm. that resonated. So I was like, I don't want somebody like, JPEGging something off the internet and slapping it on my wrist. It's got to come from me, and no one could see the image. And it's a fucked up image, but I like it because you got to be able to like resonate. Nothing helps you resonate with your image more than actually drawing it yourself. Mm -hmm. It really lands. Yeah. So it's been a me thing this whole time. I don't know why you're surprised that I went by myself. As a matter of because, fact, because like no one ever gets their first tattoo all by themselves. Like that's just not a thing. Like everyone always goes with someone. Why? Because it's like a life altering experience. Nothing like, about it was life altering. You're permanently like branded with whatever you chose to put on your body. And it's like, it's just an experience that you do together. I would have been like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's just why I'm shocked that Actually, you, you know by what? yourself. You know why? Um, I also didn't want to do with you the. I don't really like it. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, if there was going to be that. Yeah. I didn't want you to have to pick me up. Mm. If it's like when you get your hair done and you're like, I don't really like it. <laughs> like, and I don't want to start the pep talking from there. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually glad you weren't there because at first I was like, I don't like it. <laughs> and I didn't want you to be like, what do you mean you don't like it? I love it. And I'd be like, I like it too. I mean, I don't. Yeah. I don't know. So that. I mean, I could tell you didn't really like it. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, it's okay, because it's going to fade. I was like, I don't like it yet. <laughs> like, it's going to fade so quickly, and you'll like it. It grows on you. You know I, what? Like, all my tattoos, I don't really like them all anymore. I like one. One for four. I was like, well, this is a real-life lesson in uh, just... <laughs> like, this is why I'm dependent on you. And I, like, I was like, no. if she had been there, it would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> There's that, always that doubt in my... I didn't... No. I guess I just didn't know that... A, it was a thing, and B, that you cared that much. Um, yeah, I just wanted to see the experience. No, I'm not even, She's like I said, of, I'm not even, you never I'm not like that. mad about it or like whatever. I'm just like, that's weird. <laughs> and because like, <laughs> you are not dependent, you pretend to be a potato. <laughs> You're fully capable, fully functioning like kale. <laughs> Get the kale thing. Kale is the worst. Kale's you're, the worst. You're a fully functioning 
I don't know. What kind of food do you want to be? Well, don't ask me. I'm a golden retriever. Yeah. <laughs> Every time Lindsay, like, tries to use an analogy to describe me, I don't love it. So I'm like, she said, well, you know, I'm learning to love it because people are, other people are identifying as golden retrievers. And yeah. I was like, oh. And people love being golden retrievers because they're loved by all. I didn't know what that meant. Yeah, you I really love. am loved by all. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about last night at work. I was like, oh, my God, you guys love me so much. You love me so much. <laughs> I was vibing high yesterday to the point where I was like, oh, God. <laughs> You're like, I'm elevated. Yeah, here. kind of. Someone had to, like, I mean, bring you back we, down reality. Well, it was a very but... busy restaurant, and I got to make everybody feel good. And then, you know, we were vibing together, which was beautiful. But, like, afterwards, I'm just like, oh, my God. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. It's a very high high to come down. From. Think about like the pre energy before patty class. Grandma mm -hmm. was like, ah! Oh, I know. That's what it was like for yeah. four, five and a half hours last yeah. night. And I'm just like, how do you come down? Because I didn't actually get to do the yoga part. Yeah. <laughs> and they just it's leave you on this high, high, and then I'm supposed to figure out how I bring myself down. It's like the entertainer's high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should probably work out immediately after to yeah. offset that. Oh, yeah, totally. That's why like, I have to take my nuts for a walk. Yeah, burn off your energy. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> That's why I go running or yeah. walk home mm -hmm. or take the dogs for a walk around the property. Yep. <sighs> All right. Well, that's all of our bonus oh, questions. No, oh, it's no. over already. Oh, I know. Okay. Well, this was fun. <laughs> we'll be back next time. Oh, maybe we should do more of these. I know. Like bonus, bonus episodes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll be back with more bonus, bonus episodes. 12 minutes. That's Ooh. a lot. I know. That is a yeah, lot. We have to cut that from the normal show. <laughs> Wow, we had a lot to say today. Yeah, you know what it is? Because it's, it's been Friday. All, it's been all fucking week. Yeah, I know. And another thing. <laughs> another thing. <laughs> We're going to get you right. some crumble cookies. Bye. Yeah, bye.